Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSC 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Um, this instruction is going to be for completing Lab 9, and we will be doing point groups. So you'll find the Lab 9 uh, folder on um, Scholar, and uh, if you download the point file, take a look and identify what the delimiter is, um, then you'll import those points. There's going to be a bunch of points that should not be in the surface. Now, typically you want to develop a relationship with your surveyor and come up with some kind of common way for them to label things that have elevations that you do not want in your surface. Uh, the tool I used to do, or the thing I used to do was get them to put a Z as the first character in the description for any point that should that I should ignore the Z. So example, if they were to measure a raised manhole, that manhole's two feet off the ground, I want them to pick up the manhole rim, but I don't want that part of my surface model. I want a ground shot beside the manhole to be my surface elevation. Uh, or if they go down a hole to get an invert of a manhole or even picking up a pipe in a ditch is often something I don't want in my surface model, and I need to make sure that that invert is not in my model. So what I would do is get them to put a capital Z as the first letter in the description. So all these points I just imported are ground shots, GR shots for ground shots. Some of them have a Z in front of it. Um, I, I believe the data is off 10 or 20 feet in the elevation if it has a Z on it. So I need to be able to quickly separate those and make my surface model ignoring those points. The other thing I want to do here is actual, actually force interpolation to go the way I want it to go instead of the way the computer wants it to go. So we'll talk about that as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to point groups and make a new point group, and I'm going to name it uh, Good Ground or Topo. Basically, I'm saying, hey, this is something I want to make my surface out of. And the trick I'm going to do in here is exclude with full description matching or raw description, either one, capital Z star. So if it has, starts with a Z and has any description that starts with a Z, so if they survey a Zorro, Zorro uh, card or something, it starts with a Z, it's going to exclude it. When I apply that, what I'll get is a good topo surface or, or uh, point list, and now when I make my new surface, I'm going to name my surface EG for existing ground, and I'm going to, doesn't matter what contours I have on it, I don't really care yet. I'll do an OK on that, and inside EG's definition, I'm going to say point groups add, and instead of all, I'm going to use the good topo points, Bada bing, I have a surface. Now, I also have no data in the middle here. So we should know from last class that all we have to do is turn triangles on, and it looks like on my drawing they are already on, which they shouldn't be, but anyway. Uh, I'm going to go to my surface edit style and make sure the triangles are on. Uh, now I can, in my edits, do a delete line and do a crossing box to delete them. Now I think that you want to get all the way in to where it's just a 45 between two points on the corner because that is accurate. I think that's good enough. Now. 
Let's look at some interpolation. Actually, nothing in here looks too terrible that I have to change it, but I need to talk about it anyway, so let's do it. Let's find somewhere. Okay, here's a spot. Okay, here I have a spot. I'm at around point 1092 where I can see kind of a point coming out from point 1011 up here towards the left, but the triangle for mine from 1092 to 1176 is interpolating from the lower left to the upper right. I can change that in my edits by doing what they call a swap edge. They used to call it flipped face, and when you pick the face, it changes the interpolation direction between the other two points instead, and now that topo heads up that way more. Um, see if I can find another place where this would be applicable. Uh, I don't know, I might look at this one, see what it looks like. Is that better or worse? I don't know. Have to look at it. Here's a spot uh, up around 1583. It's interpolating between 1583 and 1501 because that diagonal line, if I click the diagonal line, it'll force it to interpolate the other way, which rounds out that corner a little better. Uh, now I'm going to also flip another one and see if it looks better or worse. I don't know. But that is a swap edge or what we used to call flip face. Okay. Down in the ravine. This should probably go linearly along there, but it doesn't make a difference. This one will make a difference. That looks better. See how this one will look. I like that better. I am tweaking my model by changing the interpolation direction. And when I'm done changing my interpolation directions, I can turn off in my existing ground surface, I'm going to turn off the points and triangles, and I'll have a cleaner look. Bingo. Oh, should I mess with that? I don't know. No. Oh. And I'll leave it for now. Okay, so I forced interpolation. This one looks like it definitely needs help. I can go in, edit surface style, show me the triangles. I'm gonna change their color just so it's different. So I can see how the interpolation is looking. Edits, swap edge. What if I swap this one? I don't know if I like that better or not. What if I swap this one? Yeah, swap them both back. And swap that one. And swap that one. Okay, that looks better. That looks terrible. Okay. Yeah, swap that. Uh, it's not much better. Don't know.
Okay. That is my swap edge. You could also do an add line to force interpolation of where you want it to go, or you can add what's called a break line where you would draw and say, I want it to go from here to here to here to here to here to here, and hit add that as a break line. You draw it as a polyline, add it as a break line, and it'll force that interpolation as well. So that's edits and break lines as part of the definition. And that will let you complete this lab. Please add a north arrow, put it on a D size sheet, Zoom it to scale and submit that as lab nine. Thank you.